trying to go over the purchase order build a, a purchase order process with you guys. Please notice I'm in the warehouse role. I'm gonna go start. I'm gonna purchase order. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, put the uh, vendor. I'm gonna put a test vendor. It's gonna pre-populate some information. I'm gonna fill in this, 27. Just put stuff in here. Make sure I list the, the test transaction again, just every way possible. Um, so in here, I'm gonna check Rockland. Then I'm gonna pick a item as well. So again, just to do a quick high level overview of the transaction. Um, how how, the, how it's currently set up is that the purchase order, um, if it's un, if it has a value under 50K, it will automatically be approved, which means after it's approved, it can then be received. And after it's received, it will go on to the next stage of the approval process, which is the AP approval. But um, it will, the warehouse approval will happen automatically. And then there's the next tier, which is if it's over 50,000, it will need to be approved by the regional managers, which is either going to be Vale or William Wright. All right. And then if it's over 50, if it's over 100,000, um, it's going to be need to be approved by George or Robert Wolf. So those are the three tiers, right? So I'm going to make a transaction to each of those three tiers. All right, so notice this is in 548. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Oh. Turn that off. To make my day a little bit easier, I'm just going to actually make some quick copies. Please take note that's 275. It's going to copy everything here. I'm going to say 50K under 100K. Over. I'm going to do exactly the same thing, except I'm just going to increase this number to maybe um, 1, 2, 0, 0. Still not big enough. Add one more zero to it. All right, it's over the 50,000 50, threshold. Perfect. All right, now we hit save with this. Oh, received by Mr. Field. Let's actually check this communication. It's going to warn me not to be emailed, and then we should be good to go. We're going to hit save. So that is the second tier, over 50,000, but under 100,000. Then we're going to go ahead and make the third tier. All right, and we're going to go, this is going to be the... Uh, over the, we add one more zero to it. Let's see what number pops up. 657,000. Okay. Okay. So that's the final tier over 100,000 marker. Make sure it hits the required fields. And then update this. So it's clear every single time. Um, whoops. This the communication. And then we hit save. Perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull the list. And I'm going to start with the very first purchase order just so you can kind of get familiar what it looks like. So the, the under 50,000, right? So that's this one. And this is the over 50,000, but under 100K, right? So in order for it to go to the next stage and start attempting approval, it needs to hit the submit approval sign. I set it up so you can hit save. And then if the person wanted to come back, they can come back later and update it before they actually submit it for approval. And so you can get, go ahead and hit submit for approval. And notice right now it's approval status pending approval. But as soon as you hit submit for approval and it's under 50,000, oh, this is actually... 275. So this is the under 50,000. Notice how it's pending approval. As soon as we hit submit for approval, this will notice how this changes. It will say approved. And now they can go ahead and receive, receive the goods. I'm going to go ahead and put test in here as well. This is where the purchase order process would be done for the warehouse team and would go into the accounting approval stage, right? They can't do anything anymore. Now it's pending bill, which is when AP would come in, 
right? So this is the other one that um, was over 50,000, but under 100,000. Remember when I hit submit for approval? Please notice that this is pending approval. And pending approval is, because since this is over 50,000, it needs to be approved by one of the regional managers. And the regional managers are being notified, and you can see it's through this communication tab. And you can see that Vail, since Vail is associated with all the uh, California warehouses, he's the one that's going to be notified. And this is what the notification email is going to look like. You can see here, please approve the following purchase order, et cetera, et cetera. Right? And they can sit, hit this tab and jump directly into the purchase order. So Vail has been notified. Then the other one would be the 277. And notice how this is over 100,000. So it's going to hit submit for approval. Notice it's pending approval. Right. And um, it's, you can still see it's impending approval. And that, and now the people um, would have to get notified on that certain level. And the two people that can approve purchase orders over $100,000 is Robert Wolf and George Moore. And again, this would be what the purchase order looked like, process would look like. It would be this email message, right? 705,000, please approve the following purchase order. You can click this and jump right into the purchase order. All right. So the next thing you would have to do is jump into the next roles that would be allowed. So how I set it up right now is that the people that can approve uh, over 50K under 100K is uh, a role that I created named Bruce Wayne, right? And uh, and then the other role that can prove over 100K, is, again, this role that I could name Bruce Wolf, it's actually under different login names. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into those now. Please give me a moment. All right, so I went ahead and jumped into the next role, which is Bruce Wolf, which would be the same, essentially the same permission level as William White and Vail, in, uh, Vail, right? And so they're in the warehouse role as well. And so let's go ahead and see the purchase orders that need to be approved. How this is currently set up is that you can see in list, you can see that these are the ones that are still pending supervisor approval, right? And he's the one that approves over 50K under 100K. So we go ahead and hit view here. And it has the option to go ahead and hit approve or reject. So the person might read in here, they might go ahead and say, hey, um, I think there's something funny about that. I want them to go look at it again. And they go ahead and hit reject. So now you see the approval status is rejected. And an email communication has been sent out, actually, to the primary recipient, Gabriel Volano, who created this before from Bruce Wolf, that says rejected purchase order, right? And then you would notice that um, anyone from the, how I set it up, that anyone in the warehouse, that this resubmit for approval button will have to show up for anyone that's in the warehouse manager role and whoever can update it. So this would be Gabriel Rolano. I'm not going to jump into the other role for the sake of ease, but they will be also see this resubmit for approval. So once they hit, go ahead and hit resubmit for approval. You will see here again, the hat, Veil Angel has been notified again, and it's by Gabriel Rolano, and the email is saying approved purchase order, which is the thing that you've seen before. So you can go ahead and hit approve. And now the item is ready to be received. All right, I'm not gonna go ahead and finish this receive process. Well, I'll go ahead and do it and delete it afterwards. All right, and you can go ahead and hit purchase order. And you can see that the warehouse uh, person's role is completed, and now I go into the AP. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump into the other role, which is Bruce Wolf, Bruce Spain, and uh, jump into that role and finish the la final transaction. Hi, please take note. I'm in the Bruce Wayne role now, which is the warehouse manager role. And um, this is the other inventory that I used. And uh, I'm in this role, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into the purchase orders. I'm going to go to the list. I'm going to send to Bruce Wayne. We'll go to the list. The one that's still waiting for supervisor approval is the one that's over $100,000. And this would be the permissions level of uh, Robert and George to approve. And I added myself as well, which is Bruce Wayne. And you can see here that they've been notified. 
that they need to approve this, right? And so they're going to have the same buttons. I'm not going to go through the reject process again. I'm just going to go straight to the approve process. Right, and they go ahead and hit receive. And let me type in test. Again, this would be the end of the purchase order process and the warehouse duties. After this point, it would be the AP and accounting duties. I hope this video helped. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.